Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I didn't pay a single dime for Deity. Why is that? Because it's a free student game from the students at the DigiPen Institute. It comes from a, a group of students who uh, call themselves the Double Plus Plus Team, and if this game is any indication, these guys have a very bright future in gaming ahead of them. Uh, this game is an isometric view stealth action game. When you see it, it's probably going to remind you of things like Diablo and uh, Torchlight, that sort of thing. Uh, but it's it's light on direct combat. Um, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. In the meantime, uh, this is our main character here on the left. We are a shadow god whose realm of shadow has been invaded by angels of light and crusaders who are attempting to snuff out the darkness, and naturally we can't allow them to do that. So let's get into it. I have played this game just a little bit. It is a rather short game. It is a student project, so uh, naturally. It's available for free from the DigiPen website, which will be linked in the uh, description below. It's also available on Desura. I went ahead and grabbed it on Desura so that I could uh, give them some feedback on the forum system there at Desura, but uh, you can grab it in one of those two ways, and it's free either way that you get it. So let's go ahead and get things started. Everyone's a winner. Okay. Everyone's a winner. Nice. Good luck. All right. Well, we're going to keep it on normal. I don't want to embarrass myself too much. So uh, let's go into the realm of darkness. Uh, so there's a couple of unique mechanics that this game has, and, and we'll, they'll be rolled out to us uh, as we go. The game is very much centered around the struggle between darkness and light. In fact, uh, being in light will hurt your character. So you'll see that as we go through the game. Uh, you can do the standard sort of isometric dungeon crawl movement system where you can hold the mouse and guide your character, or you can click wherever you'd like your character to move. So uh, whatever you prefer when playing those sorts of games, use that movement uh, movement option. So uh, the way that we're going to bridge gaps like this is with our nice little teleport move. Look at that. Yes, so indeed bright environment lights hurt you, so avoid them and we shall. If I were to pop over here, ooh, don't like that. Sizzling my flesh, so let's go back over and uh, let's try to avoid that light while getting to our destination. Here we go. Moving along, moving along. Ah, this looks like a nice place to be. Ah, here we are. So now we're going to be introduced to uh, your main method by which to kill someone. And uh, that is to right-click on them, which will cause your, uh, your normal travel move to become quite lethal. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, there it is. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool way to kill a dude. And uh, here is the other really cool thing that this game does. Again, you are a dark god, a shadow god, and uh, you don't like light. Therefore, you can snuff it out. You can turn the uh, bright light torches into dark torches. And it's one of the, uh, one of the main modes of travel uh, when it comes to puzzling. So uh, when you come to something and you're wondering, how the hell am I supposed to do this? Look for torches, because they are very often your means by which to defeat something. And uh, again, more, we are in the tutorial level, so it's going to be telling us a lot of interesting things. And I'm doing the tutorial level because I want you guys to, uh, to understand the mechanics of this game. If you choose to download it, it's only about an hour worth of gameplay. Uh, but I want to give you sort of a, a, a primer here on it. So if you attack an enemy from the front, you will take damage. If you attack an enemy from the back, you will be healed a bit. So it's very important to time your attack. A little bit of a save point here. And let's see, let's assess what have we. A bit of a nasty looking fellow here. Let's wait for him to do something. Ah, oh, there we go. There we are. And yes, you cannot rift uh, or devour through these boxes. So you must always have line of sight to your enemy. Alright, not much we can do over here, so let's ascend to the torches. Here we go. And it took me a couple seconds the first time I came through to figure this out. Where the hell am I supposed to go? And that's when I learned, always look for torches. Always look for torches. And that's going to get you through here, and over here, and over here. And it's going to get us in a position to do some more shadow murder. There we go. Now being in the presence of light will hurt you, so it is often uh, advantageous to go ahead and take out light whenever you see it. We've drawn a bit of a 
bit of attention from this fellow. He's like, hmm, what? Oh, just a box. And he moves on. All right. Yeah, so when you when you rift between torches, you can kind of draw the attention of enemies. Later on, there are enemies who will actually pursue you and try to draw you out of your torch. And that's a really cool mechanic. All right, let's go. Commit some more murder. Oh, nothing, nothing. You didn't see anything. That blood spot is uh, nothing to do with anything. That was there. Oh, and it faded away. Thanks. All right, so you can kind of get the gist of what this game is, and this this level is trying to introduce you to um, to the concepts of the game. Ooh, though not. Oh, I got in the light there for a moment. And uh, that's that's essentially what this level does, and it does it pretty well. Ooh, light. Don't like you. Yeah, you get healed a little bit from uh, snuffing out torches. That's always nice. All right, here we go. Now, this is our second uh, interesting mechanic that the game, uh, as far as uh, travel, that the game introduces us. You know, we've got we've got our nice, simple uh, little rift movement uh, mechanism, but we can also use our chains. You can chain between these gargoyles, you can chain to torches, and you can also chain to enemies. And then once we've got everything chained together that we want to uh, attack, we let go and we will go on a bit of a roller coaster ride. Here we go. Oh, love it. And later on you'll get more chains and you'll set up some very, very cool stuff. Very cool. This is the sort of game that does leave you wanting more. Uh, really, really it does. And um, it's... As a student game, it's very effective at uh, delivering on the promise of, of these guys, you know. Because uh, student games don't have to be great games. They have to be great examples of the ability that these, uh, that these folks uh, possess. I want to say kids, but uh, honestly, anybody can go to a DigiPen for gaming. I mean, you could be a 50-year-old man and be there, so I hesitate to say kids, but you know. Chains. I love the chain mechanic. You know, the graphics, everything is uh, built in a custom engine uh, in C++ using OpenGL. Uh, you know, these guys are for real. They didn't just take, you know, uh, Unreal 3 or the Unity engine or something and uh, drop some assets in it. They went all out and they coded their own engine from scratch. The music, the story, the animation, the, the models, everything. Yeah, so uh, here you go. It's, it's letting us know that if you chain enemies together, you won't get that frontal damage. Because when you kill the first guy, the next guy is going to notice and so forth and so on. And they're going to turn around, but because they're chained together, you're going to travel inside the chain and you're not going to take damage from them. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this game overall is just... It is a very, very interesting concept. I would love to see this played out as a full-length title. Uh, I know that uh, I think there was somewhere around eight to ten individuals involved with the production of this game, and I, I really think that they um, they created something very interesting and very unique here. Uh, back into the safety of the torch there. Uh, now, when you notice when you chain stuff together, you do get a little bit of a uh, slowdown on time. And that can be very helpful. Yes. Oh, one of my comrades burned to death. You bastards, you crusader bastards. Alright, so let's see. Let's, uh, let's wreak some havoc here. There we go. Ooh, I've only got three chains. I wanna, eh? I wanna do something else cool. Can't reach anything else. Let's just go there. Here we go. Oh, love it, love it. All right, let's see. What can we do here? Can't quite reach him. All right, let's go. I'm trying to scheme here and figure out how I can uh, snuff these guys out. There we go. What? Hmm. Just a box. And he turns back around. I was listening to some podcast or something talking about that concept, this idea of uh, henchmen sort of, you know, 
chilling out, like, after a minute. You know, if you saw a, a, a shadow demon that popped in front of you, would you ever just chill out? Like, wouldn't you just run around like your hair was on fire? Like, oh my god, I just saw a demon explode my buddy. But instead, after a, a moment or two, these guys just go back to uh, being dumb guards. But then again, of course, that comes into the discussion of when does a game just have to be a game? You know, sometimes a game is, is just got to be a game. It can't take everything involved in reality into into effect, you know, into account. So I thought it was an interesting discussion, something that um, something that I imagine game developers have to cope with quite often. Let's see here. All right. I guess we really didn't have to kill all these guys. I just did it for my pure sadistic glee. We could have moved ahead at any time. Oh, so just letting us know that we can chain together, you know, to get over a barrier. Very cool. So guys, this is Deity. There's really not a whole lot more to see here. I don't want to ruin your experience if you decide to give this game a try. Uh, I really, really enjoy this game. I recommend it very highly. Uh, it is an amazing student accomplishment, and uh, I really, really do enjoy uh, most of the DigiPen games, and I plan to bring you a lot more of them in the future. So uh, this is Deity. I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video, and I hope it will inspire you to go out and take a look at DigiPen Institute's student-made games, including this one, Deity. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and as you can see, it's about to get quite hairy up in here, and I will leave it to you guys when you play to uh, navigate your way around this cluster of insanity. So uh, until next time, I have been Big Dave. Take it easy.